So it's autumn time, fall time, and it's time for harvesting berries. And this lovely shrub here is a hawthorn shrub, a hawthorn bush. And its Latin name is Critigus levigata. You'll often see it in the books as Critigus oxyacantha, in some books as Critigus monogyna. Critigus oxyacantha is an older name, or Critigus oxyacanthoides is an older name. Um, there is also native hawthorn that grows in this part of the world that is Critigus douglasii. So Critigus levigata has this leaf shape. You can see here there are very lobed leaves. It's a sort of mid-sized kind of a shrub and it has um, very sharp thorns. You can see the short, sharp thorn here, hence the hawthorn. So you can harvest the flowers in the springtime, the flowers and the leaves, and of course at this time we're harvesting the berries. As you can see, this hawthorn is covered in berries and they're really strong medicine. I'm going to show you a couple of the berries here. I'm just going to pick a few of them. I'm going to squash one and show you what they look like inside. So the, you can see they're these lovely shiny red and when you squash them, they have this sort of orangey flesh inside and then a big stone, a big pit inside there. That's the inside of the hawthorn. So there's not a whole lot of flesh on there, but there's enough. They're best picked at this time of year in the fall. Um, they, they turn red, they start out green, um, tiny little green berries and they plump up and eventually turn red. And it's best to get them either just after the very first frost, the first light frost, or to get them just before the frost has hit them. It's a really good time to harvest them when they're nice and full and red um, before they start to, um, to blacken. They actually look, you can see them, they look like little drops of blood. So they help to build the blood. They help to strengthen the heart muscle. They help to repair and strengthen the blood vessels. And they help to improve the perfusion of blood through the heart muscle. So they actually will help to dilate um, the coronary arteries and to help perfusion of the heart muscle. They strengthen the actual beat of the heart and they regulate the heartbeat. So you can see that they're a really good medicine. It helps to lower blood pressure. So it's probably not the best thing to be taking if you've got very low blood pressure because it will slightly lower it. I'll often combine it with other herbs if I'm trying to lower blood pressure, but it helps to um, build the blood. It helps to protect the blood vessels against damage. So if you've had high blood pressure, um, it helps to nourish and protect the lining of all of your blood vessels. It's just a great tonic. The flowers in the spring are also a good cardiac tonic, the flowers and the leaves. And the flowers and the leaves have a little bit more of a relaxing effect. So you'll often see them um, in insomnia mixtures. Um, you might see them in sleep herbs that you will buy at the store. Um, so they have a little bit more of a relaxing effect. They don't have quite the same tonic effect as the berries have. So this time of year, it's a busy time of year because all of the berries and all of the roots are ready for harvesting. Let me just show you how to harvest them. So you can see that they're growing on little stalks here. And so you just harvest the berries and the stalks like that. Um, and it's great to have a, a little basket right at hand that you can harvest them into. There we go. I'm just going to have a little taste of this one. Mm. They're quite sweet. Not sweet in the way that a rose hip is sweet, but they have a sweetness to them. And they're quite mealy. Um, so they're not like a berry that you would eat as a delicious fruit, but um, they're definitely not unpleasant. They don't have any bitterness or sourness to them. They have a sweet kind of mealiness to them. I quite like them. Now, because once they're dried and they're hard, um, if you're wanting to use them as medicine in a tea, um, you're going to have to decoct them. So what I'll often do with hawthorn berries, rather than simmering them, is I'll do an overnight infusion with them. So I'll put them into a jar, pour boiling water onto them, and leave them overnight to extract in that warm water, and then warm it up in the morning, and then add any other leaves or flowers or whatever other herbs that I'm adding to it. But I'll give that an overnight, an overnight infusion so that they get a really good chance to extract overnight. If you're using hawthorn in the springtime and you're using the flowers and the leaves, 
you harvest them in very much the same way. So you harvest them when they're actually at the very peak of flowering, when all of the stamens are still pink. You want to make sure that you don't leave it too long because as soon as the stamens have turned black, they're not at their peak anymore. So they have a very, very distinctive perfume and you want to get them right at their very peak of that aroma. When you harvest the flowers, you can either make a fresh tincture with them or you can dry them and use them as a tea. And of course, you can just make a, a regular infusion. You don't need to do the overnight infusion with them because they're leaves and flowers and they extract really, really easily. So Hawthorne, Critigus levigata, member of the rose family. See these beautiful berries here that look like drops of blood. They're a great heart medicine. Protect the heart, nourish the heart, cardiac tonic. Dilate the coronary arteries, help perfusion of the heart muscle, bring oxygen to the heart muscle. They steady the heartbeat, these berries, and they give strength to the heartbeat. Um, it's a herb that I've used a lot um, over my lifetime for different people, and I've seen it not only strengthen the heart, but um, it also gives people heart courage as well. Because our hearts are not just our physical heart, but also the heart of us and, and our, the heart of our being. And I've seen people just, yeah, grow in courage and strength when they take Hawthorn. It's a magical, magical plant. So that is the lovely Hawthorn. Mm -hmm.